<laughs> it looked like it just looked like a it, I just cousin did see your hand hanging over the edge. <laughs> <laughs> Stop playing games, Dylan. Welcome to Curiosity Public Dutch. Jules. Deferente de Lyon. Oh, you had to look that one up. <laughs> That's what he was doing on his phone. No, I was looking for the stupid picture. Totally. I was looking for the picture of yeah. a Dutch yeah. drinking yeah. Patron. <laughs> Okay. Look at that quick button select of photos app <laughs> <laughs> from Google Translate, uh, yeah, guys. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Voice activated. Yeah. Uh, all right, guys. Well, welcome to a special video here on Curiosity Public. We wanted to answer a very interesting question, a fun question that was kind of circled the Reddit sphere and then made its way into Whiskey Tube. W- was this idea of you only ever need five whiskeys at a at one point in time on your shelf. And we decided, you know what, let's ask a similar kind of question to the tequila community and posit that maybe you only ever need five tequilas on your shelf at a time. Yeah. And so we broke it down into five different categories that we're going to talk about. We're going to put forward our picks and then we're going to ask the community. We're going to ask the viewers. We're going to ask other uh, YouTubers to, to, to list theirs as well. And the five categories we chose are an everyday drinker, in other words, a bottle that sits on your shelf and you just want to have a pour on a random day, you reach for this thing. A special occasion pour, Self-explanatory. A mixer, obviously pretty self-explanatory, something you wouldn't mind making a Paloma or a margarita with. Ranch water. Ranch water. Ranch water. A party bottle. In other words, Ooh. Jules is throwing his big annual uh, New Year's party. Shot, 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 What shots. bottle are you bringing with you? And then finally, a gift. You know, we love to gift people bottles of alcohol. It's kind of one of the things we do. And um, finding the perfect gift bottle mm. that is going to be loved by a tequila lover. That's the final category. So let's kick this off with the first category, everyday drinker. There was really only one choice, right guys? True. And quite frankly, it could have been, it could have been every category almost, which is, no Dylan. I know that's your everyday <laughs> of drinker. Course. I do not drink that every day. <laughs> it's this one. But uh, the most of us who can only afford Arete and can't afford the millions of bottles of tears that Dylan has, um, Arete Reposado. Yeah. You know, if you've seen our our Repo Blind, it was the clear winner. It's a bottle we go back to all the time. It's excellent, and it's a tremendous value. So it's you can everywhere. Always, it's you can always, always have available. It on your shelf. It, yeah, yeah. That's I mean, true. What, you get this for like thirty five bucks. Thirty five bucks for one liter. One liter. Yeah, it does. Okay. It does stand out, and I I think you could probably apply Arete for a lot of different categories. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they wanted me to buy in on this, but truly though. This is my daily. Like, if I wanted to be very honest, unlike them, this is... So staged. So staged. This this is my daily. This is the bottle I always have on hand, actually. So, I'm being truthful. Yeah. (laughs) Cheap. All right, guys. Next category. Special. No, it's cheap. It's good. I'm not saying he's cheap. Special occasion bottle, guys. What are you buying? Special occasion... It's your anniversary of something, whatever it is. <laughs> it's a Friday. It's a Friday. You you got a promotion. You graduated from something. You got your 10th degree in a higher education. Oh, or martial arts. Um, yeah. Yeah. You or got, like you, you uh, know. Scientology. <laughs> <laughs> Jules, Jules got his. That's or- his Friday night. Yeah, Jules got his orange belt, <laughs> in, you know, in, uh, in uh, what's it called? Gunkata. <laughs> and then, and so you're like, how do you celebrate? Well, you celebrate by counting like to five. This, like this. First of all, you'll have tres, cuatro, it? cinco. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, so it's, it's tres, cuatro, y cinco. <clears throat> Show it on the three, four, and five. And you know, this is this Cute, is a showcase. I mean, this is a showcase. You yeah, pull this out. You know, you, you think about all these places. I, I remember um, we were at a uh, a club of some kind. You're a clubbing, a dancing establishment, and. Um, I, you know, I was not dancing, but uh, one of these guys did what they call the bottle service. Mm. And they're terrible, those bottles. Yeah. And you're paying a premium here. It's beautiful. Yeah, this is Dylan's bottle service. Bottle. I mean, look at the color. It is so... It's almost like it belongs on TV. Like in outer space. Mm. In a galaxy far, far away. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it is an amazing bottle. It's definitely in your face. This is probably Jules's. Uh, and it's one of those that it is a fancy bottle, but yeah. man, the juice inside lives up to the high. It yeah. is such amazingly yeah. good It's not tequila. just a fancy bottle. The juice yeah, inside. Yeah, I remember awesome. going to Dr. Oju's party 
And as I was leaving, he's like, come on, come on, come on, we got to drink this. And so the pulled it out. Special it's occasion. It's amazing. Yeah. So a really awesome special occasion bottle. It, it's, it's hard to beat. It's yeah, hard to beat. Really hard to beat. Okay, guys, let's move on to a mixer. Okay, so it's cocktail time. You're going to be mixing up some cocktails. What are you going to grab? You know, I hate to do... A... <laughs> you're not mixing that. Yeah, hate... you're not mixing that. We hate to that. give Arete two of these categories, but Arete Blanco, and I think, you know, we were thinking also Espelon. It deserves it. Espelon Blanco. Yeah, Espelon. Espelon is cheap. It's yeah, at Costco. Cheap. You know, if if you can't find Arete, because this is usually just as cheap, around 20 bucks for yeah. a Blanco bottle, 22 sometimes. If you can't find it, which a lot of markets, they can't find it as easily as we can maybe. You know, Espelon is is a Blanco that I wouldn't really drink, yeah, but I would be happy to mix it. I've yeah. mixed it in margaritas all the time, and it's fine. It's usually the default uh, tequila at most restaurants, actually, for mixing. So for yeah. all the margaritas. Inexpensive. I'm, I'm drinking it. Not going to break the bank. Yeah. But, um, you know, I think the Arete is going to be a little better. Just as cheap if you can find it in your market. And it makes a great margarita. I recently yes. was mixing margaritas at a party, and this is what I bought. I bought the liter bottles, and it was fantastic. I wasn't at that party, because the party I went to, Dutch was using, what, a throne? <laughs> well, that's because we couldn't find the arete. So, I mean, in a pinch, you know, Patron. Patron's well, good Patron too, silver man. is yeah, silver. Gonna give you a it's clean, clean, yeah, clean flavor. I just remember Dutch uh, complaining about having to squeeze all those limes. I was squeezing a lot of limes. Yeah, nobody I mean, was helping me. No, the, the best part at the most recent party, like <laughs> Dutch just asked Dylan, hey, "Can you make some simple syrup?" And then Dylan just completely ignored him. He's yeah, like, <laughs> Dylan, can you make some simple syrup? <laughs> Crickets. Really? <laughs> Dylan, can you make some he syrup? asked. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing happened. I, I don't remember him asking. <laughs> Nothing that. happened. See, I've got to do all the work. It's exactly. Okay. I, I think I have to change my filter. <laughs> yeah, maybe. All right, guys. Well, let's move on to the next category: your party bottle. I got this one, guys. What is the party bottle? Red hair. No. 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 Why? What's wrong with? What's wrong? Yeah, Jules, you're right. The Elta Soro <laughs> Blanco. <laughs> This is kind of a maybe seen as odd choice by some people. Why do we pick this? There's a lot of reasons. Number one, the yeah, bottle, bottle looks awesome. Yeah, it looks really look nice. Yeah, yeah, look at that. So Fantastic. You're, you're coming look up to that. the party. I mean, it, it's also a name just, that you don't yeah. typically see because you either will you feel the top. You know, yeah. it's like you're, I mean, you're coming to a party. Hefty, yeah, you're already Concrete. coming to a party with either holding a patron, right? Yeah. Right? Or actually, I want a class azul, but. <laughs> This looks awesome. This does look and, great. You know, it's and a, the juice inside. The nice thing about this, if there's a tequila connoisseur in the house, yeah. they're going to be super happy to sip this. Yeah. If somebody's going to mix with it, yeah, it's maybe a little bit nicer. Yeah, but, you're not, mix, gonna, but you're not going to lose your mind over it. It's well, I would pick the Blanco because it's cheaper. And, man, it's a great value, yeah. I think. I, I think it's an elevated you know, cocktail. It's an elevated margarita. I think it's a great um, sipper, too. It's yeah. a good sipper. This was, I think, uh, came in second in our Blanco Blind Challenge we did. So Yeah, and, and if, if you are part of I mean, like, we, we joke around about this, but, like, you know, Jules loves taking shots, right? Yeah. So if you were to line up we shots with this, you won't feel bad about it, and you probably won't get as sick. Yeah, and as, everybody like, at the party is going to compliment how smooth the tequila was. Wow. Ultra smooth. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no, it's super flavorful tequila. It's fantastic. It'll it'll enhance a margarita, and people will be super happy to sip on it. This has been one of those go-to sippers actually at restaurants for me recently because it's mm, on a true. lot of menus, and it's a great compliment to any meal. That's I true. Yeah. I remember a restaurant yep. where you're like, oh, there's nothing else. I'll just sip <laughs> El Tesoro Blanco. And it's, it's so refreshing. It's yeah, so great. It was good. All right, guys. Let's get to the final category, your gift bottle. Ooh. All right, guys. So, so, of course, Dylan's going to buy you uh, Tears of Yorana. But if you really want to bring the noise, <laughs> yeah, well, Trent, that's another great choice. Of the I'll bring the noise. Cinco. But uh, the one we decided, if you really want to wow people, you got to go old. And Fuente Seca, uh, same distillery as Tears of Yorana. Trent, yeah. Same NOM, at least, 1146. This is uh, this is the seven-year, uh, seven annual. Let's get a little, we'll do a little close-up here of the bottle. And it's... And it's nice little container. It's already wrapped for you. It's already wrapped. Yeah. It's a fantastic presentation. Yeah. Uh, you know, it's look at the the side right there. The recipient sure. will have a fun unboxing for sure. Fun unboxing, cool designs. Oh on yeah, the that's great. Um, you know, it, it just look at that. Yeah, we wanted to get something that has a box, yeah. so you yeah. could say, 
hey, this is a, yes. a present you can open. Yeah. What's interesting about this, a reason why we came to this conclusion was because if you gave this to a scotch drinker or a whiskey drinker and you don't know if they ever tried tequila or they they don't mind having tequila as a gift, I mean, this I think this is a, is a nice transition too. Yeah. I mean, it's probably not way up there in terms of flavor and, and yeah. academic exercises and things. It doesn't, it's nice. It's no rough edges. Yeah, but it's uh, a... It's, and there's also a variety. I mean, there are yeah. ones up to like, you know, 15, 20 years. 30 really year. Wanna, really want to break the bank. Yeah. Uh, the seven year. I think there's even like a five year. There's a five year. And they've got... They have a Blanco as well, which is a very tasty Blanco that's mm -hmm. going to be a lot cheaper. It's usually around like 90 to 100. Yeah. But also great. comes in a box. Also comes in a box. Yeah, same it's presentation. beautiful presentation. So you can save money. So we give you... You know, depending yeah. on how much money you want to spend, yep. you could spend the 30 year one yeah. or just go for the Blanco. Depends on how much you like the person that you're gifting and what you can afford. He gave me a Blanco. <laughs> All right, guys. So in summary, let's kind of go through everything again. Uh, our everyday, we picked Arete uh, Reposado. Our right. special occasion. Well, oh, no, no. This is yeah, well, for me. Whatever. Our special occasion bottle was uh, the Tres Cuatro Cinco. Tres Cuatro y Cinco. Our um, our mixer was Arete Blanco, of course. We said Espolón Blanco if you can't find it. Our party bottle was El Tesoro Blanco, and of course our gift, which we just talked about, Fuente Seca. Guys, Ooh, very we only cool. need Quite five much. bottles or six <laughs> bottles as we have here of tequila. What do you guys think? Mm -hmm. Let's let's hear from all of you guys. Let's go YouTube YouTubers that do tequila stuff. You let us know what you think. Long Island Lou, we're looking at you. Specifically, yeah. Uh, tequila Ombre, we're looking at you. And anybody else that has a YouTube channel about tequila, do a video. Do it now. <laughs> Jewel, stick it Do it. Do, do it. it. Do it. <laughs> I'm right <Nope>. here. <laughs> <laughs> Challenge given. Tell us uh, what you guys think in the comments below. Give us a thumbs up or thumbs down. Either way, let us know how you feel. Subscribe for more videos Curiosity Public. If you want to help our channel out, please consider joining Curiosity Private, the membership program here on YouTube and Patreon. We are also selling t-shirts. Links will be in the description. And we do have a podcast, surprisingly, um, on all the major podcast platforms. As always, stay safe, stay healthy. Stay curious. Why don't you say, Hetman, what is your daily drinker? <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, T1 would be a good choice. Yeah, and like I said, I, I do I do stand by uh, Arete Repo filling every category. <laughs> Seriously. Yeah. Guys. I mean, you could bring this to a party. You, bring it to a party, you, you can mix drink it, it mix, mix it, it, sip it, shoot it. You could give it as a gift. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's not going to... People will know you only spent 30 bucks. wow them. Yeah. Yeah. Because yeah. of the sticker. So you because, of, because of the price sticker that's still yeah. on it. Yeah. 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 This was fun. Yeah, but, but you know, this, this is such is, a cool bottle, dude. I, mean, I will say though, like I think this, I've I've actually put this in margaritas. Really? It's actually really good. I mean, that's the thing I've is, had this. Yeah. I put uh, you know club soda with this. Mm. Very very good. Very good. Well, when you can spend three hundred bucks on a bottle and so drink it like water, good. then I mean, you know, life is short. Hashtag blessed. <laughs> This is like you know. You guys want to know what Dylan's eye looks like, guys? It's like if you if you see Whoa. Knives Out, <laughs> yeah, no, number Chuck, two. Yeah. Watch that movie. Glass Onion. Yeah. No, I would. It would never be that impressive. This loading dock is a bank. You know how hot your house would be if it's all glass. All glass. <laughs>